why you wanna let guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a cleaning marathon. So this is just a bunch of my more recent videos that I've combined into one so that you can throw it up on your TV or your iPad or whatever you watch on and you can clean along with me. You'll get nonstop cleaning motivation, cleaning music, and we can kind of just hang out for the next two hours. So uh, this helps give me a little bit of a break on my channel. I am about to have a baby any day now if you are new. So I appreciate you guys so much watching these marathons and I'm glad you guys enjoy them. I know so many of you really do enjoy them. So I did put this together for you guys and I hope you enjoy this one. And I'm going to go ahead and just link each video that is in this marathon in the description box if you want to go to that particular video and maybe look and see the links of anything that I mentioned. I think that will be the easiest for me. Um, and then hopefully the most helpful for you guys in case there's anything I mentioned and I said I would link. It's definitely going to be in that video, that the original video. So I'll link those original videos for you. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you guys over on Instagram. If you're not already following me, you definitely should be. Um, I'm posting baby updates and that'll be where you'll see first when I have him and all the happenings that are going along with having a baby. So definitely follow me there. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking. Let you guys enjoy today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a kitchen clean, organize, and declutter with me. So I'm going to be organizing and decluttering these spaces plus more in my kitchen as well as giving it a good cleaning. So if you guys want to clean with me and you need some organizing and decluttering motivation, then definitely stay tuned for this video. And tell me what you want this time. I won't take it to the heart because I know. So I'm going to start here with my spice cabinet. I have a bunch of spices, gravy mixes, and like oils and things like that that we use for baking and cooking. And it's just really disorganized in here. So I'm just gonna take everything out and kind of go through it, throw away what I don't need, and then um, just organize it and kind of put it back in there. I'm also wiping out the cabinets and cleaning them as well. So right here, I'm going to show you, I was cleaning and minding my own business, talking to my friends and my alarm said garage door. So I kind of creeped around the corner to see, I thought maybe, cause sometimes we don't close it all the way. And I thought maybe the wind had blown it open. And when I creeped around the corner, there was a man standing there and I screamed and I cussed and I bleeped that out. So you guys wouldn't have to hear that. It was my husband. He had gotten home way early and did not tell me. And he always tells me when he's on his way home. He said he was going to surprise me. Well, he surprised me all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want this time. I won't take it to the heart. Cause I know we won't make it out. I've heard it all before. anything fancy in this video to organize this stuff. It's stuff I've already had. I didn't purchase anything new, but I did get these little airtight plastic containers in a set. Um, these were actually a gift, I believe, but you can get them at places like TJ Maxx. You can get them at Target. They come in sets. Sam's Club is a really great place to get them. I got my sister some for Christmas last year. I got her a whole set for like $25. 
but um, the little basket and I even think that that little three-tiered shelf that I put in there is all from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is my favorite place to find organizing stuff and these little salt and pepper shakers are adorable and they are also from the Dollar Tree. So the Dollar Tree is where it's at. Keep thinking that I could have done some Amazon is also another great place to find organizing things. I will try and find some containers that are like the ones that I have and I'll link them for you guys below if you're interested in doing some organizing after you watch this video because I know Amazon has some great ones as well. Like dominoes, my life got really scattered. You couldn't keep the door shut. going to tackle underneath of my kitchen sink where I have all of these cleaners. I have way too many cleaners. A lot of these I need to finish up. A couple of them I ended up throwing away because there was barely anything left. And it's just a mess. As you can see, there's so much under here. I found stuff I didn't even know I had, but that is life. That's how things go. So I'm just going to take everything out again and clean the cabinet out and then go through it all and see what needs to be thrown away, what I can put up in the cleaning closet, and then what I actually need under here for more of a daily use type thing. I have a lot of Mrs. Meyer soaps and sprays because I used to buy from Grove Collaborative all the time. And I don't much anymore just because I have so much I don't need anymore. So I've been really trying to use up a lot of my cleaning products. I have nothing against Grove Collaborative. I think they're great. I would order from them again. I just haven't done it in a long time because as you can see, I already have more than what I need. And I probably have enough hand soaps to last me for the next two years. One of my soaps spilled out into this container and it made for an easy cleanup because it was cleaner and it got really sudsy as you can see when I added the hot water but it was really gross looking and it had gotten all over all of the bottles that were in there so I'm just rinsing these clean so that I can dry them up and put everything back in there.
Okay, so now I'm going to tackle my silverware drawer, which is where I keep not only my silverware, but a lot of other random things. There was also a lot of trash in here, which is not me. That is my family. I do not know why there was trash in here, but I found like clothing tags in here, cereal, um, like the bag that cereal comes in, the tops of those. That kind of stuff drives me crazy because I cannot understand what one must be thinking when they cut a tag off or they cut the cereal thing off and then they just put it in the silverware drawer. Like what is going through your mind when you do that? It doesn't make any sense to me. So I had to get a lot of trash out of this drawer. Also, I am fully aware that I have entirely too much silverware. I have been married for 17 and a half years so I have a lot of stuff that I got when we first got married. I just have a hard time letting some of it go because it's still really good. Maybe it's like our favorite fork. Maybe it's sentimental. Who knows what the case is, but I do have a lot of silverware. There are worse things in this world that I could hoard. So I'm not too worried about it, but before anyone comments and says, goodness gracious, I actually have gotten rid of a lot of it <laughs> recently when we moved last year and I still have that much. But what I was thinking while I was cleaning out this drawer was the next time my mom or sister comes to visit, I may see if they need some because I could definitely afford to give away probably like a whole set of spoons and forks. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and wash all of this because there was like crumbs and things that had gotten in there. Lord knows how they've gotten in there, but you know, those things could get really gross. So I decided to just go ahead and like wash it with hot soapy water, or at least soak it with hot soapy water while I was organizing everything else that was in the drawer. That way it would be nice and clean before I put everything back in there. I just want to see you on my new grave before you turn. I'm not
I love that I can see now everything that I have. It's a lot more organized than it was. Everything has its place. And when you open the drawer, you don't have to dig for anything. It's all right there. And so you can just grab it and go. And hopefully we can manage to keep it this way for a while. Okay, so these drawers over here, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. So you're gonna see a lot of trial and error on this part of the video where I was just putting things in the drawer and then taking them out and kind of seeing what works and what doesn't, seeing what works and what doesn't work. Um, I have these cutting boards in here now and then I have like recipe books. I decided to put the recipe books up with inside of the baking cabinet, which is above the ovens there. I have like all of our flour, sugar, anything baking related up there. So I just went ahead and put those up there and then I ended up putting the cutting board somewhere else you'll see in a little bit and I ended up using this drawer for my rags. But it did take a lot of trial and error because I'm not the best at organizing. And I definitely did not go into this part with a plan. So I kind of figured it out as I went. And yes, I do have a ton of rags and hand towels. I use them all the time. A lot of times this drawer is almost empty because I'm constantly using them. You know that I clean my house with rags, so I'll use a rag on like the toilet and then that gets thrown into the wash. So I do use a lot of them. And then I also have a lot of hand towels. Some of them are seasonal. Some of them I use for drying dishes. And then, you know, we always have messes and stuff. So I'm cleaning up with, I'll grab one of those towels and we'll clean up if there's a spill or something like that. So I do have a lot of towels and rags and I'm okay with that because I know that I use them. So I didn't want them in this big nice drawer though because this drawer is a really nice drawer. It really I think was made for pots and pans and I have pots and pans in the bottom one. So I thought maybe I would just put the bigger pots and pans in this one and it ended up not working out. So what I decided to do was put my big mixing bowls in this drawer and then my hand towels in that drawer and that worked out for me. So you'll see in a minute how that turned out. drawer here it ended up being empty so I have it empty at one point soon hopefully I'm going to go through all of my island drawers and organize them and I'm sure I'll find a purpose for this drawer then but for now it's empty and waiting for something from the start this might be overrated Where are you? 
So I put my cutting boards under here with my large pots and pans and my lids. And I had a little pile of stuff that I'm gonna take down to our craft area where the girls paint and do crafts. So these old rags and towels will be great for down there. And then I have like a little smock, but Tucker decided that this would make a perfect bed for him. And I thought it was so cute. That's leading away from, away from me, baby. So now that I'm done organizing, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the kitchen to make sure that it just feels nice and completely done because there's nothing like a clean kitchen. So I wanted to wipe down the appliances, wipe down the countertops, do the floors, you know, basic stuff. It wasn't really dirty. I just wanted to give it a nice freshen up. So I'm using this Miracle Spray for granite that I got at TJ Maxx. I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. I do like it. It definitely is a great cleaner. It doesn't leave streaks or anything on my granite, um, but I'm not necessarily like in love with it. And I know it's not the easiest to find because I did find it at TJ Maxx. So I don't know where they sell it like normally. Maybe it's just TJ Maxx, who knows? But I think it was like $2.99 or $3.99 too. So it's not the cheapest either. I definitely have others that I would recommend over it, but that is what I'm using and I do like it. So I'm not disappointed that I bought it if that makes sense because it does work. I just don't know that I would ever buy it again. So I guess I'll take this time to kind of update you on my pregnancy. I know a lot of you have been asking. I do share over on Instagram all the updates, ultrasound pictures, doctor's appointments, things like that, new things that we have gotten, um, nursery sneak peeks, all of that over on Instagram. So if you're interested in following me there, then I would definitely recommend that because that's where I share most of like non-cleaning related stuff. I don't really share a lot of that over here on YouTube, but I did want to give you guys a little update. So everything is going great. I am 21 weeks pregnant and you probably know but just in case we are having a boy i'm due the beginning of march and everything has been going great so far no issues um, i feel great i feel a lot better than i did in the beginning my biggest complaint is my back my back has been killing me my sciatic nerve hurts really bad it's a daily thing that i struggle with especially if I do a lot of cleaning or anything, any sort of physical activity. By the end of the day, I consider myself to be completely broken. I can't move and I'm in so much pain. I do have a back brace and that does help, but I'm really bad about remembering to put it on. Um, but other than that, I feel great. I'm not tired and I have a lot of energy and I'm not having morning sickness anymore or anything like that. So, and everything's checked out so far. Um, we've had our 20 week anatomy scan and he's healthy. I'm healthy. So thank God everything has been going so good so far. Um, and yeah, we've started getting the nursery ready. As you saw in last week's video, I did show a sneak peek. So if you missed that, definitely check that out. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. There's really, it's not, there's not a whole lot going on. Everything's going really good. So that's pretty much my update.
I'm using my steam mop in today's video because I didn't want to break out the Bissell to do just the kitchen because I didn't want to have to worry about cleaning it afterwards for just doing such a small area. Plus, I like to switch it up from time to time anyways. The steam mop is great because it sanitizes the floor and it cleans it really, really good. So I just went ahead and did it this way this time. I love this steam mop. This is a Bissell steam mop. It is one of the best ones that I've ever had. I've tried a few throughout my life and this Bissell one is great. Um, if you're interested, I will link it. Um, but now I'm done. I'm done cleaning and I'm done organizing. It feels great. I hope that this it motivated you guys to get some cleaning and some decluttering and organizing done in your own kitchen. I'm lighting a candle. This one's from Bath and Body Works. It smells amazing and I'm calling it a day. So thank you so much if you made it this far in the video. I appreciate you. I love your comments. I appreciate all of your support. I appreciate thumbs up. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know um, how you're doing. How are you doing? How How's everybody doing? That's what I want to know. Let me know in the comments how you're doing. And again, thank you so much for all of your support. And I will see some of you over on Instagram, but until then, I will see you next week. Hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Jessica and today I'm tackling our playroom in the basement as you can see from these clips it was a complete disaster so I'm gonna be cleaning this all up organizing decluttering and doing a little bit of decorating as well so if you want to see that process definitely stay tuned So I'm just kind of giving you an overview of what we are working with here. We recently moved our playroom from upstairs to the basement because I am having another baby and we needed that room for his bedroom. So we moved it down here in this space that we have in the basement. I really haven't done anything with it since we've done that. I haven't put anything away or organized it. It's just complete chaos. The girls have played down here some and it really needed some work. So I'm gonna get started with the DVDs here. I kind of went into this with doing one thing at a time. So the first thing I did off camera was just picked up anything that was trash, maybe wrappers or anything like that and threw them away. And I did have the girls helping me, which helped so much. Definitely involve your kids. If you have a big mess or a big project like this, involve the kids, get them to help. It helps you so, so much. And it's some quality time as well. But I just had her doing little things like she was picking up all of her little play makeup and putting them in her little bag there for me. And I was peeling off the stickers because I did once have these super organized in our other house with toy bins, but I ended up using this as a TV stand here. So I'm just doing the DVDs first and then I'm going to kind of move on to each category one at a time. So I do have a black trash bag here and I was using that to put in anything that we wanted to donate and get rid of because I did want to get rid of and kind of go through some of their toys because they have way too many. Honestly, obviously Ma Madeline doesn't play with toys at all anymore. She's 13. These are all basically Kinsley's toys that she also never plays with. Imagine that. So, but the, they were things that we didn't really want to get rid of because they are things she still is interested in. So... 
I did want to go through though and get rid of some of the things that were still really nice and then another kid would enjoy but that she no longer needed or wanted. So I just have a black trash bag for those and then I have a little Target bag for all of the little trash and like little like toys that you get in Happy Meals and stuff like that. It was time for those to go. Now it was time to go through the actual little toy bins. So if you're curious, I got these cube shelves from Walmart years ago, but I'm pretty sure they still sell them and they do have them in different colors or they did when I purchased them and they were around $60 a piece. They're very nice, heavy duty bookshelves and they're obviously really cute too. And then I also got the bins at Walmart, but I got them at walmart.com. So I don't know if they still have those, but that's where I bought them. So definitely check there. And also Amazon's a good place to check for bins like this, but these are like extra large and they fit really perfectly into these little cube shelves. So what I was doing is going through each bin and we were just kind of deciding whether or not it was trash and then kind of categorizing each toy. So we had a bin for kitchen play stuff. We had a bin for dress up stuff. We had a bin for baby dolls, one for cars one for dinosaurs and um any kind of creatures like that kinsley loves dinosaurs spiders lizards snakes all of the things so i have a bin for that and then we had a bin for dollhouse stuff as well which is our biggest most annoying bin because it has like literally six thousand pieces of dollhouse just like little dishes and people and pets and it's insane but she does play with those so I have a hard time getting rid of them so one of those huge bins is plum full of dollhouse stuff but the rest is just like I said just organized kind of by the category that it is This is definitely my least favorite part. It really overwhelms me and stresses me out. I don't like having all of this stuff. I don't like having, I don't like going through these bins like each piece and looking at it. When I was done though, I felt so much better, but yeah, I definitely do not enjoy this type of cleaning. I really don't enjoy decluttering that much, but it had to be done and I definitely am so, so happy that it is. So I hope that if you're watching today's video and you do have a project in your home that you need to tackle, whether it be a playroom or another area that this will motivate you. Um, I think for everybody, including myself, the worst part is just getting started. But once you get started and you're like in the middle of it, and if you just keep going, it's not so bad. 
especially once it's done, it's definitely worth it because you feel so accomplished. You feel like a weight has been lifted from you, but it's definitely something I've put off for a very long time and I dread doing. I do not enjoy this at all. And this is Kinsley's old bassinet. We use it to keep all her stuffed animals and dolls in, but this is her little bassinet that she slept in until she was like four months old, I think. All right, so now that I have it all organized and decluttered, I'm just kind of wiping everything down and cleaning it. And I did a little bit of decorating down here. I definitely want to do more, but those walls are like a weird paneling and they're really, really hard to hang stuff on. You can't really put nails in them. So I was going to use command hooks and then I ended up having a better idea. I remember that I purchased some of the command hook brand or the 3M brand, um, like, picture hanging ones and I'm going to show you that whole process. I'm also going to show you a really awesome tool that I recently found out about. I purchased it on Amazon and I now can't live without it and I feel like you everyone needs one of these in their life. So I'm going to share that and how I used it and how it helped me. But I did just use command strips to hang what I did hang in there. But it's just going to be a work in progress as far as decorating down here. And it's also not something that I'm really that focused on because it's just a little kid's playroom slash like movie room. That couch does pull out into a bed. So if we ever had guests, that's just an extra area for guests to sleep. Or like if Madeline has a sleepover and they want to hang out and watch movies down there and have like their own space, they could pull that out into a bed and sleep. But it's just a good area for us to have, but it's just down in the basement and the girls really don't like to go down there without me so i don't know it's definitely more homey and inviting down there now that we're done with this project though As you can see from the view behind me, I have like a little storage area over there and it looks horrible. I hate that that's like the view. So what my husband and I really want to do is actually get that closed in and like build a wall and a door because it's where we keep all of our like totes and extra just, you know, storage. So we wanted to close it in, but we didn't end up having time to do that before he left. So we are thinking about hiring somebody to close that space in and put a door and like drywall it up so it'll look a lot better and it'll be kind of hidden but we'll still have that space. So these are the picture hanging strips from Command that I ended up using and the way that I did it was I just went ahead and stuck them on the back of the pictures and then I went ahead and put the other part in like this kind of like a velcro type thing where it like snaps into it. I went ahead and did that too. And that way I wouldn't have to worry about getting them even or spacing them, you know, the certain amount apart or whatever. And then I just took the sticky strip off and then just hung them that way. And it worked out perfectly. So I got this tool from Amazon and it is a laser level. 
I believe I paid around $20, maybe a little bit more, but I think it was around $20 on Amazon. And it is amazing. You can put it on a tripod. You don't have to put it on a tripod. If you can find somewhere level to set it, you can do that. But I do have a tripod and that's the easiest. So it just has this little part here on the end and you can screw it right into your tripod. And it has a vertical and a horizontal laser and it levels out and puts a line for you on the wall so that you can hang pictures perfectly level and it is amazing. It is such a game changer. I got these cute little signs from Sam, Sam's Club last year. They came in a set of three for like $12. I went to Sam's Club this year, like a couple of weeks ago, and they didn't have anything like that this year, which was unfortunate, but I've actually seen signs just like this at Dollar General. Dollar General is stepping up their game. I've gotten some really, really cute things from them lately. So definitely check out Dollar General, but they had some really cute family and gather signs there the last time I was there. And I think they were like $5 and they look just like those signs. This moment can always stay here forever, 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 forever. You don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete do you know how much I love you I put your favorite song on just to wake you up when I dance around I can't help but feeling just loving So this is the final outcome. It definitely looks a million times better. Everything has its place. It's much more cozy and homey down there. I'm so, so excited to have it done. I hope you guys like the way that it turned out. And I really hope that this helped to motivate you guys to get something done in your house. I have a lot more spaces like this in my home that I need to do, but I think this was probably the worst by far. I ended up hanging a little curtain back here and I took a picture because I didn't get a video clip of it. It was kind of an afterthought, but I hung this curtain back here with like a shower curtain rod to, to kind of hide the horrible mess behind there <laughs> until we get a wall built up. I feel like I figured that this would do, but I absolutely love it. I think it's a great, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So you'll be notified when I upload, I upload every Wednesday. I would love to have you and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, my name is Jessica. And today we're going to be cleaning, organizing, decluttering, purging all of the things in my master bathroom because it is a complete disaster in here. I did purchase some organizing like bins and stuff. So I'll show you those, tell you where I got them from. I didn't spend very much money at all. I got them all on Amazon or at Target. And I'm going to go through all of my cabinets and the drawers and just organize things, get rid of what I don't need anymore and give it a good clean. So if you need some motivation for your own space, then definitely stay tuned. So I was going ahead and filling up my jetted tub with just some bleach water. It's kind of sudsy from just some like bubble bath product that had residue that had been left in there from my previous bubble bath. So I had, it doesn't have soap or anything like that. Um, I just added some bleach and hot water and I was running my jets through a cycle. That's how I clean them with bleach. And I've tried a bunch of different ways and that's my favorite way to do it. So about once a month, maybe twice a month, I'll run bleach through the jets. I don't use the jets when I take a bath. 
Um, but I do like to clean them either way because water and stuff gets up in there. So I am just going ahead and doing that while I put together this shelf that I ordered on Amazon. I will link it for you guys. It didn't end up working in my space. It didn't quite fit underneath of my sink, which was really unfortunate because it's really cute and I think it's really functional, but I will use it somewhere. I might still even use it in my bathroom. I'm definitely going to use it. So I'm not too upset. It just didn't fit underneath of my cabinet. Our cabinets are really, really small. I'm pretty sure this came in different colors too. I believe there was a pink one, a gray one, and then this white one. Yeah, tell me what you want. As you can see, my vanity here is just a complete disaster. I have stuff thrown everywhere. There's no organization to it. I have so many products. It is ridiculous. So I brought a trash bag in and I definitely got rid of some stuff. And I did actually give some of my hair products and stuff to Madeline that I didn't end up liking that I thought maybe she might want to try in her hair. And I actually got this little makeup case for Christmas last year from a friend. And I'm just now this Christmas putting my makeup into it. That's shameful, but it's like got these little slots you can organize and you can move them around and make them whatever size you need. So that's what I was finally getting around to doing. And then I got these little plastic, um, like containers with lids at Target. And I think they were like 95 cents or something like that. I did like a Target pickup and they were 95 cents. And I think I got three of them. Maybe I got four, but anyways, what I'm doing is going through my makeup and I'm putting like what I use more on a daily regular basis into this little makeup organizer. And then I'm going to put products that I don't necessarily want to get rid of into the little clear container that I got from Target. Underneath of my sink area, what I really wanted to do was not only purge through my products, but I also wanted to use different containers because the ones that I have been using under here weren't as aesthetically pleasing, I guess you could say, but more so than that, they weren't as functional for what I needed. I wasn't utilizing all the space in there. So first off, I'm just going to take everything out and then I'm just going to give it a good wipe down. And then I went through my products and then I used, and you will see, I used those 95 cents or however, maybe they were 98 cent little clear containers to organize like all of my extra stuff. We don't have like a pantry or like a linen closet in here. As big of a bathroom as this is, we don't, that would be really nice. But this is all of the storage that I have. So I wanted to be sure to utilize it as best as possible. And as you can see, this does fit under here, but you can't open the drawers because of the hinges on the cabinet. So for now, I just have it setting here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna use it, but I know that I will find somewhere to use it. got these little white plastic bins on Amazon. I'll try to find those as well and link them for you. 
Um, I think they came maybe in like a set of two or three and they weren't very much money at all because I've said this before. I don't like to spend a lot of money on organizing products. I don't want to spend more than a couple of bucks. I usually go to the Dollar Tree actually, but just with the way things have been and just the way I've been feeling, I've been doing a lot of online ordering. So I just did it on Amazon and they were really inexpensive. So now I'm just going through this drawer here where I had a bunch of random just extra products. I had like extra razor blades and extra skincare, all kinds of literally just a basically a bathroom junk drawer. So I'm going through that. I had some feminine products in there as well. So I wanted to just really make sure that I could see what I have. So I got these on the bullseye section or at the bullseye section at Target. I think it was $5 for all of these little um, organizing trays. And I think they had, they might've had a different color of them too. Maybe, maybe they had gray. I can't remember for sure, but white is like perfect because it matches everything. So I put a couple of those in there and then I'm just organizing. So basically just any sort of like bathroom supplies that you can think of like extra makeup sponges, razors, um, I think I put my lip products and skincare all in here by the end of it. And I totally meant to get like an overview of the drawers when I was done and I forgot you guys. So I'm so sorry, but I did get an over overview of the bathroom. I just forgot to get one of the drawers in the cabinet, but you can kind of see kind of how it turns out. And then I have this like really awkward corner cabinet here, which I'm really happy that they did put a door there and, and they utilize that space because it would have been just a waste if they hadn't, but it's really awkward. It's really narrow and I can't really explain to you, but it's like, you can't fit anything in there. I usually put my feminine products in there, but as you can see, I have like way too much when it comes to that stuff. I don't even know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I order stuff because I think I'm out and then I get it and I'm like, oh man, I wasn't actually out. So as you can see, I'm not going to need to order any feminine products for quite some time. I mean, considering I am pregnant and I won't need them for a while, but I definitely have enough to get me by for at least a couple of months. So I'm just putting them in those 98 cent or however much they were. They were less than a dollar um, little clear target bin. So those things came in handy for so many different things. And then as you can see, I was easily able to stack three of them in my cabinet there. And then I was also still able to put my little makeup case in there. So I've got my hair products, my makeup case, and then all my little extras stacked in there. And I like that they're in the clear cases because I can kind of see what's in there without opening it. And then I got these really cute little containers from Amazon. They're plastic. It came in the set of two. Um, really inexpensive. I'll link them for you. I did Q-tips in one and then like my jewelry in another one.
I got this really cute little two-tiered um, stand off of Amazon as well. I got this over a year ago, I think, but I will link it for you guys. And it's really cute to display like your stuff that you use on a daily basis on there. So I put like my lotions and creams and like hair ties and things like that on there. And I set it in, or I set it like on top of my little counter there. And I think it's really cute. I think this was maybe around $20 for this. Um, but like I said, I bought it like a year or maybe a little over a year ago, but I will link it. I'm pretty sure they still have it on Amazon. Okay, so now I wanted to kind of organize and clean up around my tub. I'd already ran cleaner through the jet and I had drained all that water out and I'm definitely going to wipe it down in there, but I have so much products just kind of sitting around. I had some like bath salts and stuff that I had gotten from Cincy. I have this really cute little corner shelf I got from Target. Um, and that's where I put like all my little bath stuff that I use in the bath because I do take a bath almost every single day. So I definitely need to have products there for me. That's just what works for me. So this little shelf works perfectly. So I'm just using, I think Kaboom, I think is what it's called. <laughs> I was just trying to use it up because I think I did end up using the rest of what I had to wipe down my bathtub. And I normally use a little scrub brush, like a dish wand, but on this day, I was just getting at it. I wanted to be done. I had a rag, so that's what I used. But this scrubbing bubbles stuff or the Kaboom or whatever it is, it does work really well. I prefer using Dawn Power Wash, but I was out. I just picked up some more today, but it works great for your showers and tubs. Doing what we need to do. Staying up all night. Everything is all right. So now I'm just going through all of those products on that little shelf, wiping them all down because they can get kind of gross and then kind of organizing them and deciding like if I really needed it there or if it was empty and I needed to throw it away and all that good stuff. I had some Epsom salt that I put into this plastic container here. I got this on Amazon as well. I'll try to find it and link it for you. 
Um, I just take the bag and pour it in there and it's just so much prettier and more convenient. And then I got these really pretty little bath roses and even the grass is like, it dissolves in your bath. It makes your bath water like super soft. It makes your skin, or it doesn't make your bath water soft. It makes your skin soft and it makes it smell good. I got those as a gift from a friend. So I'm putting them in this little clear container here because I thought that it was not only pretty, but functional. And that's actually one of my kitchen, um, like airtight containers that I wasn't using. So definitely you can get creative when you're doing these organizing and you can definitely use things that weren't necessarily meant for that. Whatever works, that's what I say. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my face. And then by this point, I was extremely tired, but I did want to still clean my toilet. So I'm just using like a Clorox wipe to wipe it down really quick. And then using my Clorox toilet wands to clean out the inside. And then my camera cut off for some reason. I think my battery died. So it kind of just kind of cut off cut off abruptly so i do apologize for that but i hope that you guys enjoyed this bathroom organize and clean with me i hope that it gave you guys some motivation as you can see i'm just running my robot vacuum in here because i was honestly too exhausted to vacuum and mop so that could wait until the next day so just do what you can do you don't have to get it all done in one shot you guys do what you can do a little bit at a time but hopefully this helped to motivate you guys to get a project done in your home. I hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait for next week's video because it's my Christmas takedown. I always love that time of year where it's like a fresh start. It's like a blank canvas. So that will be next week where I'm digging down all my Christmas decor and cleaning. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. I have tons of cleaning videos and organizing videos on my channel. And I post videos almost every single Wednesday unless it's like a holiday. But anyways, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and give me a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to check the description box for links to things. So I will see you guys next week. Bye. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. Hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new i'm jessica and i am sharing with you guys today a clean with me but i'm also sharing with you some of our morning routine and like what it's like for us now that we're virtual learning for the month my kids have been in school for most of the year but because our cases are so high in our county we do have virtual learning we had virtual learning the i think week last week that we had in December and then it'll be all of January so I'm just showing you kind of our routine now that things are like this so as you saw we got up we had breakfast I got her computer ready for her first zoom class which starts at 8 30 and 
she has her breakfast while I get that started. And a lot of times we just stay in pajamas because we are home and we might as well. Sometimes we get dressed, but for the most part, we stay in our jammies. Let me know if you guys are doing virtual learning, if you get your kids all dressed and ready for the day, or do they stay in their jammies? I'm curious to know. But anyways, we're just getting ready for that. That's what we do for the first hour. Well, the first Zoom class she does is about an hour. And then my oldest daughter, 13 years old, she's upstairs. She's already begun hers. Hers starts at eight. And so she's up in her room doing hers. She does hers all on her own. So I basically just sit there with her and get her set up and make sure she's good to go, that everything's working properly. And then I go ahead and start with my routine. So as you see here today, because I was filming, I'm putting on makeup. I don't put on makeup every single day, but because I was filming today and I wanted to kind of get like a jump start to my day, I wanted to go ahead and just do my makeup because that always helps to set the tone for the day for me. So I'm just doing my makeup really quick. This is like my five minute makeup routine. If you are new here, I am 32 weeks pregnant and my husband is deployed. So I'm just a solo mom of two girls and one on the way. And we do have two dogs, Tucker, who you will see throughout this video following me around. And then Bailey, you got a sneak peek of her this morning when I let her out potty. But for the most part, she spends the day with her mama up in her room because she is technically my daughter's dog. So I'm gonna get started in the living room just freshening up in here. I'm using this Scentsy and clothesline to just freshen all of my pillows and blankets and just straighten up and get it clean in here. And um, then I'm gonna move on to the kitchen. I can't be too loud because she is on Zoom and I couldn't vacuum or anything, which is kind of frustrating. So I had to save that for the next day and I was just gonna do it when she's done with her school for the day. So for us, her school, she's in kindergarten and it starts about 8.30 and then it goes to about one. This is Tucker. He is a Morky Poo. I get asked all the time. He's a Maltese Poodle Yorkie mix and he is eight years old and he is the love of my life. And as you can see, I'm his. He follows me absolutely everywhere and I wouldn't change it for the world, but that is Tucker and I get asked that all the time. So he's a Morky Poo. It doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night only that time and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this because now i dream about you i was probably too drunk it's blurry but i've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now and it could fade away so as i was saying earlier i am 32 weeks pregnant and I am pretty much miserable. And I feel like I say that in every single one of my videos and I don't wanna be like somebody who's always negative and complaining, but I also wanna be real with you guys and let you know like how I'm feeling. And that's just honestly how I'm feeling. I'm so ready to be done. 
my back hurts all the time and lately like my newest thing is my contractions have really started picking up with both of my girls i had a lot of braxton hicks especially with kensley i was three centimeters dilated at 34 weeks with her and because i kind of went into early early labor i was able to stop it and carry her to 39 weeks but I was walking around at three centimeters for quite a while, but I did have Braxton Hicks a lot with her. And obviously some of that was real labor or else I wouldn't have dilated, but I'm already starting that in this pregnancy. So that's like my newest thing. And on this day, it was no exception. I've actually downloaded my um, contraction counter and I've been kind of keeping track of them just to make sure. And on this day, I was having them every 10 minutes apart for an hour. So I ended up taking a break after we were done with lessons for the day and after we did lunch and I took a nap because I was not feeling well I was starting to get crampy and like I said I was having contractions every 10 minutes so I am noticing those picking up they're getting more painful so I think things are starting to progress a little bit but I'm not like super concerned or anything but definitely things are happening Doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. But I'm gonna die. So I got my new phone case in from Case Defy and I wanted to share it with you guys. This video is sponsored today, but they did send me this really cute case and I love their cases because they're very protective and they fit the phone very, very nice. They fit like a glove. So if you've never heard of Case Defy, they're a tech accessory brand. They have all kinds of cases, AirPod cases, watch bands, and all other sorts of tech accessories. Their cases are really slim and protective, which I really prefer when I have a case. I want it to be really slim. I don't like it to be bulky, but I definitely need it to be protective. They are drop test approved for drops up to 6.6 .6 feet, which I drop my phone all the time. So I can attest that they definitely protect your phone. They come in a ton of designs. So you can pick your favorite color or print. You can even customize them. A lot of them you can customize and put like a saying or your name or something. You can customize like the sides of the phone, what color you want. It's like the possibilities are endless. So if you click my link, you can go and you can see some of my favorite picks like this leopard print one here. And it kind of shows what it looks like on different colors of phones. And they obviously have them for more than just the iPhone. Casetify's antimicrobial coating keeps your case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria, which is really cool, especially in today's age. So you can just go in the description box if you want to save 20% off a case at Casetify and you can use my code. It's just www.casetify.com slash jessiechristine. I'll have the link for you guys in the description box. Okay, so at this point you can see I'm kind of taking a break, got my feet up, but I am still doing virtual learning. So once her Zoom class is over, we have assignments that we have to do. She does them for herself or by herself for the most part, but I do have to make sure that she's doing them properly or if she has any help. So normally I'll have her bring her computer to the couch and we'll do them from there. That way I can be more comfortable. And she actually doesn't mind it because it's a little bit of a change of scenery for her. So we usually spend the time between her first Zoom class and her second Zoom class doing assignments and then she might get a five, 10 minute break and then her next Zoom class starts. Okay, now draw the picture.
I got a little clip here of baby boy moving in my stomach. He is like a little ninja in there. He moves nonstop. It's actually starting to get pretty painful and he keeps me up at night kicking like crazy. But I got this little clip for you guys to see him rolling around in there. You gotta do your circles and show it, show your work. Okay, what's another way you could decompose 10? Um, <laughs> you have mac and cheese on your mouth. Where? All over your mouth. <laughs> we gotta clean your face. It's okay, don't worry about it right now. We'll clean it in a minute. What's another way you can decompose 10? Um, it's hard to do decomposing 10. We got a little bit of snow. As you can see, it's nighttime now. I am trying to take things slow. It's still flurrying, actually. You guys won't be able to tell on camera. But we just got a dusting. But, um, and the dogs are playing in it. If that's what you hear them down there, that they're playing, they're romping around. I don't think you can see them though. But, um, yeah, it's much later in the day. It's like six o'clock. I'm just trying to take it slow because I'm really tired. But it snowed. Just a little dusting. I wish it would snow a little bit more, man. If it's gonna snow, like, snow so we can go build a snowman or something. <laughs> but, yeah, I would show you out here, but you really can't see. That's just a field. Um, just covered in a little dusting of snow. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started upstairs. So like I said earlier, we had to do some lessons and then she had another class. And then that class lasted about an hour. And then after that class, we had more lessons that we had to do, her math lesson. And then we were done with school for the day. So we did that and then we had lunch and then I took a nap. And then it gets dark so early here. It gets dark at 4.30 here. <laughs> so we are on central time. We live in Tennessee and so it gets dark so, so early. But anyways, but anyways, once I got up, I had recharged my batteries a little bit and I was able to finish what I wanted to get done for the day because I really wanted to clean my bedroom and put fresh sheets on. I do have this little humidifier on my nightstand. It helps me breathe better at night. Um, so I was just refilling it up with water. I got it on Amazon. I love it. It works great. So I just keep it on my nightstand pretty much 24-7. So while I was dusting my dresser, I decided that it also needed to be pledged. Well, not pledged. I don't use pledge. I use in dust, but I feel like pledge is just a term that you use, but um, it was just like dingy looking and dull. So I went ahead and used my in dust to wipe it off really quick. I probably should do all the furniture, but honestly didn't have enough energy. So I just did that one, but I got that idea while I was doing that to put my candle inside that lantern there. And I don't know if you are supposed to do that or not this lantern in particular does have like a little spot that's meant for a candle to sit in and it is all open and ventilated at the top so i don't know tell me i know these are mostly just decorative but 
can you or, or do you guys ever put a candle in them? I put the candle in there and I was really unsure about it. So I took a picture and sent it to my friends and said, hey, do you think this is safe? And they weren't sure either. So I just put it in there and I just left it in there burning while I was right there so that I could monitor it. I stopped several times to check and see if it was getting hot and it wasn't, it wasn't at all actually. It was cool to the touch. So I think it would be fine for like a small amount of time if I was monitoring it, but I would never leave it in there if I wasn't right there. But let me know, like, are you supposed to put candles in there or can you or do you? <laughs> If you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I'm absolutely terrible with laundry. I do not keep up with it. It is like my biggest downfall. So this is like a couple of weeks of laundry, but I got it done, so that's good news. So it was time for Tucker to get his little jammies changed. He's been so cold since I got him groomed. I feel so bad. Normally when I get him groomed in the winter, he just snuggles with me more and keeps warm. But lately he's just been shivering all the time and I feel so bad. So I put a little bit of a warmer sweater on him and I've been like letting him lay on my heating pad and like making sure that I grab him and put him under the covers with me at night so he'll stay warm because he's been so cold. So I think from now on, I'm going to space out his winter grooms a little bit more because I don't know if it's he because he's getting older or what it is, but he's just not tolerated it well this time and he shivers all the time and I feel so bad for him. So I put that thicker sweater on him in hopes that it would keep him a little bit warmer but I'm definitely making sure that he has like a blanket wrapped around him or that he's under the covers with me at night so that he doesn't freeze to death because he's so spoiled. All right guys, so this was what I got done on this day. And as you can see, it basically did take me all day and it wasn't a whole lot of cleaning, but it was all that I can manage to do. And I am proud of myself because it was not easy, you guys. These days, it's just so much for me. But anyways, I hope that everyone as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't already, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I upload every Wednesday. Don't forget to check the description box for links. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Jessica. Today I'm doing a whole house extreme clean with me. You're gonna get tons of cleaning motivation. I have some new cleaning products that I'm using in today's video. I'm cleaning my basement, my first main floor, and my second floor in my home. I'm, so I'm cleaning a ton of rooms, so you're gonna get to see a lot of my house, cleaning the bathrooms and the floors and some disgusting stuff that I'll show you later on in the video. So definitely stay tuned if you need some cleaning motivation. Stay tuned to hang out with me today. I would love to have you hit that subscribe button. If you are new, definitely leave me a comment in the comment section below to let me know you're here and that you're watching. And yeah, let's go ahead and just get started with today's cleaning motivation. So I'm starting down here in the basement because I had guests coming for my baby shower and I needed to get a bunch of spaces ready for the 
guests that I was having. My mom was coming, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-laws, and my cousin. And so I needed to wash all the bedding, clean all the bathrooms, and just make everything really nice for them. And I also had this smoke alarm going off, and it was chirping and driving me insane. If you've been with me for a couple of years, do you remember my Instagram stories of the time that my husband deployed and all my smoke detectors were going off? The fire department kept having to come. Do you remember that story? Oh my gosh, I'll never forget it. It was horrible. So the sound of smoke detectors beeping drive me absolutely mad. So I had to get that fixed right away. So I was just changing the battery out there. But yeah, this is our basement guest room. I do not really like it. I really don't love our basement. It's not really ever been updated. I would love to put new floors down here and paint and all that good stuff, but that will just take time. It's not a priority of mine, but I have it as cute as I possibly can. This is my old furniture. That's my nightstand from when I was a teenager. And this is my husband's bed from when he was a teenager. And it's an antique that his father refinished. And we actually slept in this bed for the first few years of our marriage. So it's really, really sentimental and I'll never get rid of it. But um, everything's just kind of mixed match down here. But it works and it's cozy. So really that's all that matters. Maybe you got me. If you are new here, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button. It's totally free for you and it's just a way for you to support my channel and to let YouTube know to notify you, hopefully anyways, when I upload. They have a really hard time doing that these days, but I do post every Wednesday. So on Wednesdays, you should know to look for a new video from me. And that way, if they don't notify you, you'll know Wednesday is my day, but hopefully they will. And just make sure you have your notifications turned on. Doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. Cause now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk, it's blurry, but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't. And I should let it be But I'm gonna dive Dive into you And maybe I'll drown But what can I do? And it would be alright To let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive Dive into you it doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch The room caught on fire We could blame it on the wine But we know that So I have this little shelf here That the previous owners left It's pretty beat up and old I could repaint it Make it cuter But I just haven't gotten around to it But what I like to do with it Is just keep extras for our guests In case they forget anything Or they need something while they're here I think I went to the Dollar Tree And got most of this stuff But it's just shampoos And extra toothbrushes Deodorants Razors things like that in case they get here and realize, oops, I forgot this, then they already have something right here. They can kind of just shop right here in my little <laughs> space that I have for them. Um, and then I just washed all the towels and rags and put them here for the, so they would have clean towels and washcloths for when they shower. This is the next day. That was about all I could do in that day. I am nine months pregnant, so it's really hard for me to do pretty much anything. So this video took three days in the making just for filming and then a whole other day for editing. If you haven't noticed, I've changed outfit. I'm going to change my outfit again before it's over. But um, Madeline actually put the bedding on for me. I had washed it and she surprised me and put the bedding on. So that was really nice of her. But this is the guest bedroom the next day, completely clean. She also mopped the floors in here for me. So I also did not get that on camera, but they were freshly vacuumed and mopped. It's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this But I'm gonna die
Okay, so now we're upstairs in my youngest daughter's room and I was going to have a guest staying in here. So I definitely wanted to clean it and wash the bedding for them. And so I'm just going to go ahead and strip all the bedding off, throw it in the washer and get that washing because bedding takes forever to wash. We know that if you're doing bedding. My best tip is for your beds to get a second pair of sheets and have that available so you can just take off the old and put on the new and be done with it. But I wanted to put freshly washed sheets on the bed for the guests. So I went ahead and just stripped it down and I threw those in the washer and they washed while I cleaned. And I'm using this Method Anti-Back in the Citron scent and I really like this scent. It smells soapy to me, not very citrusy in my opinion. It smells more soapy, but I really enjoy the smell of soap. I think it smells really clean. So that's why I like this one, I think. So that's what I was using in here and I really liked it and I used it in the bathrooms too. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, I would love to have you come over there and follow me. I share so much more over there besides cleaning, more day-to-day -day life, more behind the scenes, baby stuff, just a ton more than I share here on my YouTube channel, which is mainly focused on cleaning and cleaning routines. I share like shopping hauls and just new finds, what we're up to, baby doctor appointment updates, things like that. So if you want to follow me over there, then I would love to see you. Um, it's just jessie.christine and I believe it's linked in the description box as well. If that's easier for you than just searching. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever when I'm lying in. So fun fact, I am absolutely terrified of snakes, terrified of them. And my daughter just thinks it's hilarious. And she loves this stuffed snake that she has. And after I cleaned this day, she had found the snake since I put it up really high out of her reach. Of course, she wanted to have it. And um, she brought it downstairs and was playing with it and left it on the floor, which totally creeps me out. And I know it's a pink stuffed snake, but it doesn't matter. And that night I literally had nightmares about snakes. Like I woke up screaming nightmares <laughs> about snakes. So she just thinks that's the funniest thing. And I do not. I'm using this Dawn Power Wash in the shower and bathtub because I love using it there. I actually don't even use it for dishes. I use it in the tubs. I think it works really well. It breaks down the soap scum really well. And it leaves the, I guess that's like a fiberglass. I guess that's what the most tubs are made out of. Um, it leaves it really super shiny. So I highly recommend if you haven't tried using it in your showers and bathtubs, try it and see how it works for you. But that's the only place I use it. I've already went through an entire bottle. They also have the green apple scent, which smells really, really good. Again. But life is one big riddle of the future and what's been. 
So I was just replacing my little Cincy flower thing here because the other one was completely gone, but basically it's just a scented oil and it diffuses up into that flower. So it's a really pretty decor piece, but it also makes our bathroom smell really good. So when I had my Scentsy party a few months ago, I ordered a bunch of those and um, I really ended up liking them. So I ordered more and I'm actually out now. I just undid the last three boxes that I had and they last like two months. So they do last a really long time. Two months I think is a great amount of time for something like that to last. So I'm gonna go ahead and be repurchasing Sing some more because I think they're so perfect for bathrooms. I usually use a dish wand to clean my showers and bathtubs, but because I am pregnant, it's really hard for me to bend over and it hurts my back. So I've been using this Clorox scrubber that I got from Target. It's like $10. It's really awesome. It helps save my back, as you can see. I mean, the proof is in the pudding right here. It, I don't have to bend over, so that is great. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't get into the little nitty gritty tight spots. So I did still go back in with the little wand just to get a few areas, but the one, another problem I have, and I need to look online because I'll probably find it there, but in store, the last two times I've been there, I've checked and I cannot find the refill head for the scrubber, like the refill scrubber head. They don't sell it in store at my Target for some reason, which is really weird. So I need to look online or maybe on Amazon and see if I can find it because it's definitely due for a refill. But that thing is awesome. And like I said, it's only around $10. So if you have a bad back or for whatever reason you don't want to bend over, I highly recommend getting that. I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more you leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything To be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign There's no more tricks We could take things slow Say you think about it too When the lights go out And there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again 
don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in So give me a sign and that's it for Kensley's room all ready for guests. Nice and clean, smells amazing. The bed was so soft and smelled so good like fresh laundry. So I was so happy to have that done. It took me way longer than I had expected. I'm so much slower moving these days than I'd like to be, but I got it done and that's all that matters. I don't know why my footage is crooked. I swear I hold my camera straight and I always pay extra attention to that, but it always comes out crooked. I don't know what's going on. It drives me insane. I'm so sorry that it is crooked. I know that that is not like the best thing to watch is crooked footage. It drives me nuts. So it probably drives you nuts, but I don't know what's wrong. It has to be my camera because I swear I'm holding my camera straight. Okay. So I had ran out of beds. I have my pullout couch in the basement, which you did not see in this video. It's in the playroom. And then I had the guest room down there. And then I had Kinsley's bed that I was making available. And then Madeline and her cousin slept in her bed. And then Matt, Kinsley and I slept in my bed, but I needed still another space for more guests to sleep. So I bought this air mattress from Target. We needed one anyways for like camping and guests and stuff like that. So I just went ahead and bought one. And I really liked this one because it came with the pump already like inside of it. So all you do is plug it in and it deflates and inflates itself. And it's really nice. So I just thought it might be fun for you guys to see me inflate it. And it's the kind that's like um, sits up off the ground a little bit. I don't know how comfortable it is. Probably not that comfortable. It is an air mattress, but I really like the ease of it and it comes with a really nice bag that you can keep it in. So, and then the cord and everything and the pump, like I said, is built in. So you don't have to worry about losing that because it's all right there inside of it. So I thought that was pretty cool. So Tucker and I are just waiting for it to inflate and inflate it in like one minute. Why are you playing? We ain't got the time. Tell me now if you want out What are you saying? Come on, let's hit it out I'm about to lose my mind again How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Possible How could we let love go? Okay, and then this is the third day, and this is my bathroom. It is absolutely disgusting. I think I counted eight different drinks and dishes and things like that that I had in there. Have not cleaned in here in weeks, not gonna lie. It just is what it is. It was bad. I mean, you barely can see my countertops, but I had Maddie stand in there with a basket and I just handed her all of the trash and dishes and she took those down for me and threw them away or loaded them in the dishwasher. And then I just cleared the countertops and got to cleaning. It really didn't take that long. And I usually stay on top of this kind of thing, but I've just let it go. And that's when you let things go, it is a lot harder to clean. That's why I've always preached to maintain, maintain, maintain. But lately I have not been able to do that. So it's a lot harder to clean and a lot more overwhelming, but it is what it is. I know it's just a season in my life and I will be back to normal soon. And I will hopefully have the energy and not be in pain all the time. But also I wanted to show you, I found this little Q-tip holder at TJ Maxx for $3.99. I thought it was really cute. Um, it doesn't hold as many Q-tips as I had hoped. So I ended up having to keep some in the little jar that they're in currently, but it worked out. So I put them in there and then I just put my hair ties in the one that they were in. And then I just left what I had left over in there and I'll just use them to refill it later on down the road. But DJ Maxx has some really cute little, um, bathroom organizing containers like this. So definitely check them out. I always find them in the like office notebook type area. And sometimes you have to dig, but you can definitely find some good stuff. me like 
So I wanted to show you my bathtub, so I didn't film it, but I had filled it up with hot water and about a cup of bleach, and I just had that in there going in the jets for about 15 minutes. I do this about once a month. It cleans out the jets. I don't ever use my jets, but I do take a bath almost every night, so stuff does get in them. So I was going to go ahead and drain the water while I was cleaning the toilet and stuff, but I wanted to show you that was all the ugh, just the nastiness that came out of the jets. So uh, if you have a jetted tub, whether you use the jets or not, I highly recommend cleaning them out at least once a month. The easiest way for me and the best way for me that I've found is using bleach. There's lots of different tips, tricks on the internet. I've seen and heard them all. I've tried all of them. I always go back to bleach. That's just what works best for me. So I'm draining that water and then I'm using that power wash again in here to just clean it and get all the like soap scum and stuff off the edges. And then I use a rag just to wipe around the top of it. to use my O cedar spin mop to mop in here and in the other bathrooms as well but honestly I was so exhausted and it was just more work for me and heavier for me to carry so right now I'm improvising I'm just doing what I can so I have this Amazon mop and I have some sort of solution in there something like probably pine salt or something and water and I'm just using that it's better than nothing so I just vacuumed really quick and then use that mop to just kind of mop but I normally would use bleach water to mop the bathrooms that's my favorite way to do it but like I said, I just couldn't be bothered to do it this time. So it is what it is. But I'm not afraid to 
basically this was it for my cleaning video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys will give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and share it with friends and family if you did enjoy it. Uh, most of my videos have been ranking so low and they just have not been doing good. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you guys don't like me anymore <laughs> if I'm being honest. I don't know, it's just very discouraging. I know there are a lot of ladies on YouTube that do cleaning videos and I know that they are awesome and so much fun to watch because I've seen them myself. So, but don't forget about me here. <laughs> I'm still trying my little heart out to bring you guys good content, even though I am super pregnant. I'm trying really hard to make good content and motivate you guys. So please stick with me and it'll get better when I'm not pregnant and I have this baby and I hopefully feel a lot more like myself. I'll be able to do more. I'm trying my best right now, you guys. So please bear with me. Please keep supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. I don't take it for granted at all. I love you guys so much. And I love those that have stuck with me for years and that keep cheering me on and just motivating me, even though I'm here to motivate you guys, you guys motivate me more than you know. So I just wanted to say thank you and please don't leave me. <laughs>